Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Google Sheets API in Python tutorial. My name is Jay. In this video, we're going to learn how to clear data with Google Sheets API. I will show you two different methods. I will show you how to use the update sales request request to perform the uh, cell deletion. The other method is using spreadsheets.values.clear method to perform the sales clear. Now, let me go to my Google Sheets. Within my spreadsheets, I have three worksheets. I will show you three examples. For the first example, I will show you how to use spreadsheets batch update method. So to use that method, we need to make a, we need to create a request object. And I'll name this object request body. Inside the request body object, I need to insert my request this object. And it's gonna be a list. Inside this list, I need to insert another dictionary to indicating that I want to perform one action. And I'm going to insert the update sales object. And let's go into update sales object parameter real quick. So if I go into the documentation, the update sales request object takes uh, this many parameters. We can provide the rows, the fields, the starting point, the range, and so on. I'll be using the range parameter to clear the cells. In here, let me insert my range object. And it's going to be a dictionary. And to clear content in a worksheet, so I can provide the worksheet ID. To clear sales contents in a worksheet, I can use the sheet ID parameter. And basically, I just need to assign the sheet ID. So to grab the worksheet ID, Let's say I want to clear the entire uh, cell contents. So I can just grab the washi ID and assign to the she ID parameter. And that's it. Now I can make the API call. So here I'll insert my service object, that spreadsheets, that batch update. And this method takes two parameters, spreadsheet ID and body. And for the body, I'm going to insert request body object that as a key. If I press F5 to run the script, and here is, oh, I forgot to uh, supply the fields. Let me go back to the documentation and there's something I want to show you, right, fields. Using the update sales request, we can actually uh, specify do you want to clear everything or do you want to clear the values or the formats or both. So let's say I want to help me do this. Let me go back to my spreadsheets. So I'm going to change the formatting of uh, some cells. So I'll make that bold. I'll change the background color for some of the cells. And I think that should be good for now. Within the update sales object, I need to insert the fields property. If I want to clear the formats only, I will type user entered format. If I press F5 to run the script, and that will clear the formats of uh, all the cells in this worksheet. And if I want to clear the values, Actually, here, let me do this. Let me apply some formatting. So I'll change the background color. Um, I think that should be good. Let's say I want to clear the values only. I don't want to clear the formatting. In that case, I'll type user enter the value. If I press F5 to run the script, and that will clear the values only. So you will reserve the, the formatting. And if you want to clear everything, so here let me put everything back. So I'll just type something. And I'll change the background color. If I want to clear both formatting and values, I will insert the wildcard symbol 
and run it. Oops, I forgot to make that a string. And that will clear everything on a worksheet. And that's for the batch update method. Now let's move on to method number two, which is using the spreadsheets.values.clear method. And this method is not as flexible as uh, the first uh, method, except that using values.clear method, we can uh, specify the cell range. So with method number one, you will have to clear everything on a worksheet. And to perform the same uh, action, so here let me go to example number two, and I'll change the background color for some of the cells. So insert service dot spreadsheets dot value oops dot values dot clear. I need to provide the spreadsheet ID to the spreadsheet ID parameter, and for the range. So I say I want to clear everything on example to worksheet. So I can just grab the worksheet name dot SQ. And let me come out this code block. I'll pass F5 to run the script. And here I'm getting oh, so here I have a typo. Spreadsheet ID. Now if I go back to my spreadsheets and example number two, and using the values.clear method, you will only clear the values. You will not clear the formatting. And if I want to clear a specific cell range, so let's say from B2 to uh, E11, I'll need to grab the worksheet name, so example three, Here, let me just make a copy. And I need to insert exclamation symbol at the end and followed by the cell range address. So if I want to clear cell B2 to E11, so B2 to E11 and run the script. and I'll clear uh, this highlighted cell range. So this is everything I want to share in this video and hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.